In this first semester in physics, we're going to be talking about classical mechanics. Sometimes you'll hear people call it Newtonian mechanics. And it's all going to be based upon three principles. That's it. If you can learn those three, you'll have the entire subject covered. And it's all going to be based upon three principles. That's it. If you can learn those three, you'll have the entire subject covered. And it's all going to be based upon three principles. That's it. If you can learn those three, you'll have the entire subject covered. And it's all going to be based upon three principles. That's it. If you can learn those three, you'll have the entire subject covered. And if you could think logically and consistently from those three facts, you will know the entire first semester of this course. Classical mechanics is all based upon these three principles. First, the law of inertia. They're all Newton's laws, by the way. Newton's. Number one, law of inertia. You're going to want to write this down. Law of inertia says an object at rest remains at rest, an object in motion remains in motion, unless acted upon by an outside force. An object at rest remains at rest, an object in motion remains in motion, unless acted upon by an outside force. Basically what it's saying is, things continue exactly as they're doing unless something makes them change. And if there is a force, it will make them change. It's the very nature of science in itself, cause and effect. Ah. Wow. Second point. Newton gave it some fancy words, but it comes down to just a statement of this equation. F equals MA. <gasps> That equation is basically a mathematical statement of the first point. And we could take F equals MA and every equation, everything mathematically we do for the first semester will all stem from this one equation. The third point, Newton's law, equal and opposite. For every force, there is an equal and opposite force. For every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. For every force, there is an equal and opposite force. For every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. These three principles, the law of inertia, F equals MA, and equal and opposite, basically provide all the fundamental thinking, all the fundamental principles of classical mechanics. And everything we cover in this first semester will come back to these three points. If you learn them, don't just memorize them as words, but if you learn them and understand fully what they mean, and you always apply them rather than what you feel like at the moment, or rather than what seems right, because what seems right can be very wrong, if you always go to these principles and apply them to your thinking, you will always come with the correct answer. Ah. Ah. This is the basis of classical mechanics. It's so simple, in fact, that there's a, an old statement that all you really need to know to pass physics is two things. One is F equals MA. The other, you can't push with a string. <gasps> Why I would say such a silly thing actually gets into something much more complicated that we're going to learn at the very end of classical mechanics, dealing with centripetal and centrifugal force. But for now, let's just worry about these three principles, and we're going to spend the next semester learning nothing but how to apply them consistently. <laughs>